Okay, when I head into the very first screen of this ruins, I will run to a boss. Well, not really a boss. What the? This lizard is enormous. It's a titano class for sure. But we can't get to the boat without going past it. Huh? Damn, guess we stand and fight. Yeah, I do not have to play close range with you if I don't have to. Like this! You are not stunned yet at all, are you? Yeah, this is definitely not on par with those other bosses we've been fighting. Oh man, now he's going long range. Not that he can catch up to me. Huh? And I leveled up my Aqua Burst. And Adol leveled up Strength Blast. Aqua Burst. Yes, use your sword dance a little more, Adol. Whoa! I'm surprised he isn't aggroing on Aisha. We we won. I didn't even have the flash guard. What the hell's with this island? Something like that just walking around in broad daylight? Let's walk and talk. Hanging around here seems like a very bad idea. Something is definitely not right. We really need to get back to the boat. Now. Wait, how did you get here, guys? No way. We didn't see your boat. Oh no, more of them? Two of them this time. We're totally screwed. Huh? Ah. Damn it, looks like we're stuck. All I can do is fight. Those cannons kill them in one hit. Makes you wonder if they have any ground-based artillery for taking care of uh, Titanos back in the mainland. Now that's what I call timing. It's the Dragon Knights. Okay, guess that takes turbo. Uh, uh, does that mean we get to go back home in style? Oh man, that was a real close call. What are the Dragon Knights doing here, though? Did Sigrun send out a search party for me or something? Princess! 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 Sorry, Sigrun. Sorry for making you worry. But thank you, you got here in the nick of time and saved us all. I'm really sorry for all the times I... No, no, don't worry about that. That's not why I'm here. Princess, you must get away from these men. Huh? What? How dare you? How dare you kidnap the princess? I will not let you lay one more finger upon her. Kidnap? What the hell are you talking about? We're here because the king asked us! A likely story! <laughs> 
Sias, Raud, and Drayson. Hey, what's going on here? Sias, what's this all about? Look, you can drop the act. Do you really think you can play dumb after what you've done? Huh? What's going on here? What happened? Whoa! Damn, I knew things were going to come to a head, but this is a lot sooner than I expected. Why do you draw your swords? Trayson, what's going on here? These men are the prime suspects in a crime of the utmost severity. Particularly that Adol fellow. What? Red hair. Adol the Red. Adol Kristen. However you wish to be addressed. You are under arrest. Your charges are espionage, conspiracy, theft, destruction of property, and the assassination of His Majesty, King Kayamaral. Looks like red hair has steel for a backbone. A nice train of man, but this makes my work difficult. What would you like me to do, Round? He won't survive much more of my special attention. Fine by me. He assassinated the king. He's the worst criminal there is. His life means nothing. I was hoping you could get him to talk about who's behind all this. But whatever, it's obvious he's from Rom. True enough. He doesn't look it, but clearly he's a dangerous, dangerous individual. Just the sort I love to break. Damn lowlife, you got some nerve, you know that? I knew something was off about your whole adventurer act. But I never expected you to do something like assassinate the Sovereign, you little piece of- I won't let you die easy, you hear me? Father, it can't be! Why? Why? Princess! I understand your grief over the passing of His Majesty. However, we have a duty to carry out. You must stay strong. The assassin, Adol Kristen, will be executed at the Colosseum tomorrow. Do you approve, Your Majesty? What? Executions at the Colosseum require the approval of the Sovereign. With the passing of His Majesty the King, that would be you. Wait, where are you? Where are you talking about? Adol executed? Sorry. He has assassinated the King. It is only fitting. That's ridiculous. He's not the assassin. What proof do you have? It has been determined that he is likely a Ro Roman agent. His Majesty knew of him through a renowned pirate. Plus, this adult character claimed himself an adventurer, as though that were a legitimate profession. Everything about him is suspicious. That doesn't prove anything. I was with him the entire time. From the time Father told us about the ruined island right until Drayson showed up with his men. When could he possibly have had an opportunity to kill my father? About that, Your Majesty. Is it not true that this owl was alone with his majesty for a moment prior to your departure? What? We have testimony from one of the attendants. She claims that when you and the one named Dogi exited his majesty's private quarters, Adol remained behind. He was in there for another few minutes before he emerged to join you. More than enough time to commit the murder. Did you check the alibi of all the others in the castle? We found the royal signet among his belongings. The evidence stands against him. 
That that's not possible. He said that fire gave him the ring. Saya, so say something. You know that Adol couldn't possibly have done this. Aisha, you should have demanded like uh, uh, alibis for everyone in, in the palace on that day, at least to s get by Adol a little more time. What about that intruder you never found? After that incident, security around the palace has increased tenfold. The chances of yet another intruder going unnoticed are next to none. Also, His Majesty was stabbed from the front. There were no signs of resistance. We believe it is highly likely that His Majesty knew the criminal. As His Majesty did not have a did have a rapport with Alec Christen, he is a perfect fit for this crime. I'm sorry to say, but Princess, the crime in question is the assassination of the king. The people of the kingdom will be in severe unrest if the criminal is not dealt with quickly. And rumors that the assassin was a red-haired foreigner have already spread throughout the city. Your Majesty, please. We cannot leave this matter unresolved. We must act with haste. Hey, look! They must have caught the assassin that killed His Majesty! A red-haired assassin could be from Rom. What's going to happen to the kingdom? How dare he kill our king? He should be torn limb from limb. I hear he's going to be executed at the Colosseum tomorrow. Oh, now I've got to see. Serves him right. Oh no! That young man was an assassin? Tia, this must have been a misunderstanding of some sort. Of course it is. Adol isn't the sort of person who would ever do such a thing. Tia? Are you alright? You must be exhausted from taking care of Maya. Perhaps you should rest. You're right, I will. I think I'll go home for now. There's no time. At all, please stay safe. How could you? Adol Kristen, as a sovereign of Otago, I have come to deliver your sentence. Your execution will be held at the Colosseum tomorrow. As our tradition dictates, you will fight against a ferocious monster. While you will be given a sword, the monster you will be facing is Titano class. The chances of you winning are next to none. Well, I do have infinite retries, so I'll get there someday, even if it's a sloppy attempt. Seriously, since I can't save- I probably can't save before the boss, so I I'm just gonna take whatever attempt I can get, even if it's sloppy and requ and has me winning with, like, single digits. Even if I don't even get a single flash guard in. My condolences for your loss. Why? Why? Why can't I stand up for you? Why can't I save you? Stop being so- so nice! Father! Princess! Adol, win the fight tomorrow. If you can actually win, your execution will be delayed. I'll look for the real killer in the meantime. So please, you have to win, okay? Dragon Knight Station Underground Cell. Dogi and Geist are kept in different cells, huh? This isn't funny! Let's out of here! We didn't do anything! Let's out, damn it! You can't execute at all! He's innocent! A goody two shoes like that would never kill someone who didn't deserve it! Huh? 
<laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing because I was right. Right about what? Remember what I told him at the island? No good can come from someone like you fraternizing with men of power. Hmm, kill him killing anyone at all, much less the sovereign of Otago? Absolutely absurd. Somebody clearly framed him. Presumably whoever actually did the old man in. And who the hell would that be? I should just bust my way out of here. You know what I can do. Breaking down these walls or even these bars would. Yeah, but can you break down an army of dragon knights? Stop. You'll just alert the guards, and then we'll be in even more trouble. There are too many of them. We'd never be able to make take them all. Damn it. Then what do we do? I can't just let Adol die like this. Well, unlike you, I don't really care what happens to him, personally. But I do owe him for what he did in Canaan, and I have been specifically instructed to bring him in for a talk. So I'll help you out. What? Master Geist, there you are. What? Oh look, it's a big dumb oaf. How have you been? What did you just call me? Pipe down, oaf. Zisa, we're at your mercy. We have no way out of here right now. I'd like you to look out, for, look for my equipment, along with the key to the cell. And while you're at it, keep an eye out for this guy's stuff too. Hey, you got it, boss. Good thing those three fairies on our on our on our are on our side now. But it'd be nice if they could control monsters to fight for us. That would be pretty awesome having a giant titano to ride across the lands. Yeah, what happened to that ability? Maybe it only works for monsters from the Nepishtim region. From the Canaan Islands. <laughs> Sleep well last night? If the execution ends too quickly, it's no fun, you know. I need to have energy. I'm looking forward to watching you struggle in vain to live. Rob, that's enough. Bear in mind that a man on his way to death deserves at least some measure of respect. Even if his crime was unspeakable. Whatever, if you ask me, death is too good for him. Here. Gladius. Got Buckler. This is really crappy stuff. This is the only weapon allowed for a criminal. Well, it contains some dragon energy. Don't expect it to be of much use. It's serviceable, at best. Battle Nine and Anxious. You really are hard to pin down. Thanking me in a situation like this. I won't ask if you assassinated His Majesty or not. But if you die here today, you will always be fought guilty of the crime. If you are not the assassin, then fight to prove it. Natalie Extract Officially, I shouldn't wish you good luck, but good luck, Adol. You're going to need it. Oh, and before the fight, don't forget to equip the weapon I gave you. Can I even access the menu right now? I don't think I can. This didn't give me a single save opportunity. Which means if I die here, which means if I accidentally go back to the start menu, I'm gonna have to fight that giant lizard Titano again. Ugh. This is probably one of the worst fights in the game, mainly because you only have one Natalie Extract. And it's way harder than the fight against Geiss. Since at least for him you have a lot of items. At all. We will now commence the execution ceremony. Bring out the Beast of Judgment. Oh 
Oh no! I don't want to fuck with that. No! Oh, Graphios, great god of the sea! Bring your divine judgment down upon this criminal who murdered beloved king in cold blood. Oh no. Yigsay's Toluga! We only have a 500 hit point healing item for this. Can we do it? Anyways, this. That rolling attack, you can guard against it for a lot of SP and extra, but. Ah. Uh, Unfortunately, he tends to not to have that big of a gap between his attacks, so even guarding can be difficult if you're careless about his follow-up attacks. See, he's already gearing up to attack again! Good. Good news is, most of his attacks aren't too difficult to dodge, as long as you're Careful. But if you want to win in a timely manner, you're gonna have to at least learn how to guard some of them. Uh. And also, when he does that slam attack, he might end up creating those fire circles, which you really do not want to step on. Ow. Okay, this time I end up on his side, but I still got clipped somehow. That fire attack, it's not too hard to dodge and it even has a bit of a range limit to it. I was really scared for this battle because I remember on my hard mode playthrough, I died to this guy a lot. Of course I didn't know how to flash guard back then. I didn't have all these PC button macros helping me out. So yeah, I guess with the as long as you master the mechanics, you can e even beat Nightmare Mode. I may be speaking too soon considering that this is only the halfway point in the game. Plus, I still did a pretty poor job against this boss. Ow! I totally should have dodged that! And now I already used up my only item! Run! Only do like one swipe and then run. Seriously, there's not much room to even do a skill attack. Ow. Ugh. Oh no, he's doing his rolling again. Oh, oh try, try not to stand behind him. Otherwise, I'll kick you. Kick rocks at your face. Okay, Lunar Crystal Blade! Sadly, Adol is stuck with crap equipment, so it's even that won't do much damage to the boss. Of course, the boss does have somewhat low defense to compensate for your own lower attack and defense. However, according to the, uh, to the monster book, his, stats, uh, his attack is still just as high as the previous boss. So it's not all that easy. Still knock down Adol very quickly. This is he's actually surprisingly open then, as long as you sneak to his side quickly enough. Oh no. That was a mistake! Crap, I'm almost dead again. And somehow I did not die from that. I really thought it was gonna be a game over. And look at all the mines he set up on the field. Ah, that was a mistake too. I should have gone to his side. Like so! Ah! I'm out of your range! Oh no. He's doing his tail thing. Oh, it seems there might be a tell for when he when he does his normal version of the slam attack and the mind version. Yes! First try! First try, motherfucker! I will survive! Uh... Oh ho! Impossible! 
What? I'm just as surprised as you are, Orbis. What are you doing? Arrest him! No, forget that! Shoot him! Shoot him dead! My Prime Minister, you dare to file the sacred ceremony? We cannot simply let this evil man remain alive! Hurry up and kill him! Eep! When the... An earthquake? What a terrible time for this! It's over! That really caught me off guard! Why have there been so many earthquakes lately? When the world is... What the? Dogi the Bridge Crusher! Heh, <laughs> now that's what I call timing! Adol, come on, you're trying to wait! By which I mean, let's get the hell out of here! Say hello to my little friend! Smoke Bomb? Usually only bad guys in the Kiseki series use that. And the party if they ever need to escape. Uh... Impossible! Stop them! Sias, Rout, do not let them get away! Sir! Adol is still naked. This is not... He won't last long against the Dragon Knights like this. Uh, talk about good timing for an earthquake. That was just the distraction we needed. Fortune is definitely smiling on us today. Shove and get moving. If they blockade the roads out of the sea, all this will have been for nothing. Damn it. Over there! Don't let them get away! Well, that was fast. We'll have to break through! Everyone, this way! Tia! We'll talk later. Follow me! Secret tunnel? You can get into this subterranean canal from here. It continues outside the city walls, so you should be able to make it out safely. Seriously? Yes, I found it by accident one day. But that's beside the point. You need to hurry. There are people searching for you everywhere. Not the best course of action, but it's not like we got any other options. Come on, we need to move before they find us. Thank you, Tia. Give Maya our regards. At all. I'm sure you, you of all people. No, never mind. Please be safe. May the dragons protect you. Don't you think you're being a bit careless? Of course Sias would know about this passageway too. He lives here after all. Sias. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll pretend I didn't see that. But Tia, I must ask again. Are you really sure about this? Yes. I made up my mind. I know what I have to do.
Where are we? Is this near Otago City Gate? Man, I can't believe we made it. Stop wasting time. The Dragon Knights are still after us. Come on. Uh, where? Are we gonna hide out in one of those villages? I told you before. There's someone who wants to meet you, Adol. We have to go to the highlands that look down the lake west of here. Let's move out. You got all your equipment back. Okay, I think we're supposed to head down here. Lakes, I'll toggle plains, lakeside. Wait, have you even been here before? I don't really remember this place well. No, was this pl 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 path blocked up earlier? Let's go. Let me All right, let's go. Might be better off sticking to guys because he can at least deal some baseline damage to any type of enemy. I don't see a single item. Am I doing something wrong? Highlands overlooking a lake. This is the right place, isn't it? Didn't you say there was someone here who wanted to meet at all? I certainly don't see anybody. Patience isn't your strong suit, is it? Come on, over here. Okay. <laughs> what just happened? This song sounds suspiciously familiar. Also, this will be the main town for the rest of the game. And what the hell is that? That wasn't there before, was it? And whoa, why is it nighttime all of a sudden? Because this place is in flux, so to speak. It is located in a small pocket between your world and the next. That was fast. I heard what happened from Zisa. You were fortunate to get away safely. As, and as promised, you brought the warrior with you. Good boy, guys. I didn't want to, and please stop telling me I'm a good boy. It's demeaning. We're even now, right? Oh, I never forced you to do anything. Of course, it is only natural for a disciple to do what his master tells him. That's how I see it, anyway. Uh, and you are? Oh, pardon me. My name is Ciarius. I'm Geist's Master of Sorcery and the Acting Elder of Iska. Iska? You mean like Iska of the Five Tribes? The one that totally disappeared? Indeed. Welcome, Adolan Dogi. Welcome to the hidden village of Iska, in service of the Great Moon Dragon. Will you care for a brief tour? Iska Village. This hidden village was constructed 200 years ago. 
The Isca tribe once inhabited the area where Otago City now stands. However, when the Donians decided to move from what is ruin now Ruins Island, we were persecuted and driven out. As a last resort for self-preservation, we used the power of the moon to access this pocket between worlds and hid. The people of Edona reformed our old land into modern-day Otago, which became a highly prosperous harbor city. An old memory of Isco is gradually forgotten. Man, that sucks. But what do you want with Adol? You specifically sent for him, right? Ah, uh, yes. As it happens, I have a request for you, Adol Kristen. You, the dragon warrior, having heard the voices of all five great dragons of Otago. Dragon, what? Adol asks Ciarius to explain the statement in greater detail. It's the title of the man who receives the powers of the five great dragons according to an ancient Iskin legend. We are told that the Dragon Warrior has the power to stop the dreaded Wind of Destruction. The Wind of Destruction, huh? And what exactly is that again? Regrettably, its true nature is not noted in the legends. However, once it begins to blow, there will be unrest and chaos in Altago until everything disappears. Or so say the legends at any rate. The hell? There's no way that's true, is it? It's just some dusty old fairy tale written down by an even dustier old man, right? I wouldn't be so sure. You've, you've seen with your own eyes what's going on around Otago. All the phenomena as people have been calling them. Oh. You mean like Iskin Fever and the Titanos? Yes, I believe these recent phenomena are exactly the sorts of omens the ancient ranks foretold. Iskin fever, for one, is a disease caused by severe imbalances within the body, resulting in high fever and ultimately petrification. Did Dallas invent this disease? I fear that it may be the broken balance of Otago itself that is affecting the bodies of its inhabitants. And this, I believe, is also the reason behind ti the Titano's increasingly unpredictable behavior. I believe that this wind of destruction refers to a calamity manifested from the sum of Otago's imbalances. That's crazy. And you're asking Adol to stop it? It has been said since ancient times that the balance of Otago is held by the powers of the five great dragons. But ever since the Donos invasion of Iska, faith in the dragons has dwindled. As a result, they no longer dwell among us. So for some time, Altago has been home to none who are capable of correcting imbalances in the land. Leading to what we see today. But Adol, you've received word and power from the five dragons. I believe you may be the hero described in our records. To quote one particular passage. Rise, O Dustin Warrior, awaken from them from slumber, oppose the wind of destruction. Adol Kristen, I believe you and you alone have the power to wake the five great dragons from your long sleep. Wait a minute, this is all too sudden. Plus, I mean, Adol is in the middle of some pretty crazy crap already. I mean, he's a fugitive. We all are. He was framed for killing the king, and he... I'm familiar with the incident at the city. I've been kept abreast. And I expect that said incident will have a notable effect on the issue at hand. Huh? Serious? What do you mean? The current imbalance is mostly the result of human activities. Considering the enormous population of Otago City, and an incident of great magnitude such as an act of regicide, well, what effect do you think it'll have? Damn. So disorder in the human world adversely affects Altago, accelerating its imbalance. Is that about the size of it? Yeah, I see where you're going with it, this. Unfortunately, I also do not know who the real assassin is. I surmise he or she is either from an enemy nation or committed the act for internal political reasons. Regardless of the assassin's purpose, however, the incident has begun to shape the fate of Altago in a significant way. It's very much a cause for immediate concern. I 
Alan Kristen. I understand that it may seem rather unreasonable asking an outsider to shoulder Otago's fate. You may choose to walk away and I will not stop you. However, after hearing of your exploits from Geis, I cannot help but put my faith in you. I am hoping that perhaps you'll be able to approach this from the perspective of an adventurer, rather than a chosen one. Avil expresses unflinching desire to take on the responsibilities of the Dragon Warrior. Avil Kristen. Thank you. You have my gratitude. Man, he never stood a chance. Serious, you're quite the weasel, you know that? There's no way you could refuse your offer when you put it like that. Adel will do anything for adventure. Oh, pardon me. I not intend to manipulate. <laughs> That's just how Ciarius talks. Pretty frustrating, isn't it? Use this fancy language to gloss over the real issues and make them more presentable. I remember when I came to Altago in search of a spell to beat my brother, mumble mumble, and it didn't even work. You still got your ass handed to you. <laughs> Honestly, I did not expect you to master the Iskin seal spells. It's truly quite an accomplishment. Nor did I expect you to bring along your cute little fairy friends with when you came out back. Such a good boy, so full of surprises. I told you to stop calling me that, Ciarius. It's demeaning to both of us. What does Al need to do exactly? Wake the dragons? I mean, you can't just tell someone to go wake the dragons and expect them not to have questions. Beyond the altars you visited are sanctums where the dragons sleep. According to the legend, these are places no human may enter. With the exception, of course, the dragon warriors and his companions. So go to the sanctums, find the dragons, and wake them up? Correct. The dragons should know how to stop the wind of destruction. Therefore, I would like you to seek them out and ask for that information. And I don't think you'll get everything you need to, from just one dragon, regrettably. So we have to go all around Otago again. And we have to restore our save teleport points. That means we'll need to talk to all the elders again, too. We'll have to explain to them that Alo was framed and is on the run. That will not be necessary. The entire party. Adol, Dogi. Except for Aisha, of course. I hear you got yourselves into some trouble. What the? Why are you all here? I asked Geist's fairies to send word to each village. I thought it would be wise for their respective representatives to come together and share information. Unfortunately, with the death of the king, I was unable to call for the Elder of the Sea Tribe. Oh. I don't know where to call you well prepared or over zealous. We heard everything from the little fairies. You're going to meet the dragons, right? Well, we're going to here to help. But we have to get Aisha back into our party so she can act as the Edonian representative. That's really kind of you. According to the legend, you'll need the assistance of each tribe to gain access to its corresponding sanctum. Members of each tribe's elder ancestry, to be exact. Fortunately, everyone here is either the current elder or is off the elder's line. And each of us has come to aid you in your task. You sure about this? Al's a wanted man now, and that could cause problems for you too. Could cause a... Uh, a war between the villages and Otago City. Well, I mean, no offense by this, but we're not specifically doing this for Adol's sake. The issue at hand right now concerns every man, woman, and child in Otago. We cannot rightfully entrust this matter to an outsider without keeping a close eye on him ourselves. Yeah, we're all in this together. Oh, man. Adol, what do you think? Adol expresses gratitude and agreed to accept their help. Awesome! We shall make a formidable team. I look forward to accompanying you on this journey. Amazing! It's like we're one big happy family! 
Speaking of which, we need a grumpy uncle. What do you say, guys? You're perfect. You're perfect for the role. I had no real intention to. While you're, you're journey on, I'll be examining the old records left behind Iska. And maybe I'll find something concrete about the winds of destruction's true nature. And it would be most beneficial if I had a liaison between your party and myself. Where might I be able to find such a person, I wonder? Oh, how I wish I had someone I could count on! Alright, fine! Oh, go! Just stop! I'm in! You happy now? Elk joined. Mustafa joined. Mishura joined. Party. First swapped Elk in because he needs the levels right now. He has a new weapon, too. Spin Edge. What do you have? Absorption. The heck does that mean? Rejection. She already learned a few skills off screen. Spark Pound. This one's really powerful. Moon Bracelet. Steel Bracelet. Yeah, these. They're all specked out and stuff. We need to start buying new items. But do I have enough money for that? Actually, I'm... Huh. Or talk to Ciarius. What the? New scene? Shinoa, Sagram, and Kalos each possess a hidden sanctum and all must be visited. Our first priority is to speak with the dragons. Uh, what about the other two sanctums? There was a dragon altar on Ruins Island. Island. Is that one the sanctum entrances too? Yes, I believe the sea sanctum is located on Ruins Island. However, at present, Ruins Island is not easily or safely accessible. I believe it would be best to postpone any attempts at visiting that sanctum for the time being. Do the easy ones first. Yeah, good thought. Then what about Iska's sanctum? Wouldn't it be best to go there first since it's probably like behind a wall here or something? Unfortunately, the location of Iska's sanctum remains unknown. All knowledge of it perished with the Iskan Elder line 200 years ago. Oh crap, that's no good. I had heard rumors of this, but I did not know that it was true. Indeed, among the responsibilities of the Elder of Iska was a task that only he was capable of carrying out. As the Elder of the tribe that reveres the Dragon of Harmony, he served as the mediator amongst all the tribes. Perhaps the Edonians were not pleased with Iska's privileged status, and so decided to put an end to them. Man, that's horrible. Hmm, so the people of Otago City have always been that insolent. That's why I'm merely the acting Elder. We would have known the truth about the legends as well if the Elder line had survived. All we can do now is look for clues in the ancient Iskin records. Shinoa, Graham and Kylos each possess a hidden sanctum and all must be visited. Good thing I went back and talked to him. We, the Iskin people, were unable to trust any other tribe after we were persecuted and driven to seclusion. But it's reassuring to have leaders of all the other villages here with us now. I sincerely hope that you'll be able to have fruitful meetings with all the dragons. Wish they'd mark off where all the shops are. Who's lives here? Just some random NPC? Only the ring of the Iskin Bell will allow outsiders to pass through the barrier that conceals this village. In all its two centuries of existence, the barrier has never been broken. It's sad to have lost contact with the other tribes, but given the persecution we faced, we had little other choice. Our ancestors were persecuted and driven to seclusion by a tribe that betrayed their purpose. There is nothing more 
lonely or isolating and the feeling that no one can be trusted. Then, this building. Is that... What is that? An... Iska's seal arts refer to a special type of magic in which physical charms are infused with various ar enchantments. Utilizing these arts, one can create an illusionary wall, a passage between dimensions, wherever you can imagine. Still? Treated here by animals like my friends here don't exist in the outside world. It feels as if the hidden village has become its own enclosed ecosystem. Such an existence is true, indeed a lonely one. Shoot, I think I might have missed a conversation between Geist and that woman. <laughs> hey, there's someone wandering on the streets. Since we lost our elder family line, Ciarius has assumed the responsibilities of the village elder. The elder Ciarius is really intelligent and a really great leader. On top of that, he's a master of seal arts. I think he's the perfect person to be our acting elder. Have you noticed the uniqueness and rarity of everything around you? It's because of here, we exist as though frozen in time. Our peace was disrupted every now and then by outsiders like yourself, but in general, everything is like it was. The last outsider summoned was a young, angry-looking fellow with a black hair, and that was two years ago. Good thing I put him in my party. Actually, I didn't come here because the Arius summoned me. We were corresponding, and I decided to pay him a visit. He mentioned that he needed to lost his concealers, so it seemed worth the trip. Exactly, he tricked you into coming, which was safe, he summoned you here. And now, here you are, enslaving away to pay him back for what he taught you. Is this starting to become clear? Damn it, he's right, but he doesn't have to rub it my nose in it, especially in front of Adol. I've got a reputation! From the time the barrier was first raised, it was as, it's as though the village has been separated from the flow of time. Well, they're happy to feel like you are young again. Hmm. Oh, this must be the item shop. Good to know that even in this village, the, they label their shops correctly. Oh, hello! Brandy Swenson! I heard about you from Ciarius, the dragon warrior and his companions, correct? The name's Brandy Swenson. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Welcome to Iska's Synthesis Workshop. Synthesis Workshop? What, you weren't aware? Synthesis originated in I ancient Iska. All the other tribes eventually learned the art of synthesis, but none are as versed in its use as the Iskans. Well, synthesis does require special knowledge and tools, after all, not to mention training. But even here, the art of synthesis hasn't seen much use in the last 200 years. We don't get out much. So as a heads up, I'll be deciphering the old records while I work, but I'll do everything in my power to assist you. Oh, and that note, have you heard of Iska's spirit elixirs? If you'd like me to try concocting such a mixture, feel free to ask. I suspect they'd be of great use. So you're interested in the spirit elixirs? Well then, allow me to tell you all about them. Spirit elixirs are one of many types of medicine that can only be synthesized with special Iskin technology. According to the records, these elixirs can improve specific attributes of whosoever imbibes, imbibes them. The catch is, finding the ingredients needed to make the el these elixirs is rather tricky, which is where you come in. I'd like you to gather the necessary materials to create these elixirs, so I can determine if it's even possible. Of course, any elixirs I successfully synthesize will be yours for the taking. The experience alone is all I seek. There should be an old record on this shelf there that tells you all the necessary ingredients to make them. That aside, even though they're called elixirs, they actually come out as a fine powder, sort of like sugar or flour. If I do succeed, be careful not to spill or inhale them. The former would be a waste, the latter would really hurt. Now synthesize elix spirit elixirs at the workshop in Niska. Thank you very much. S read. Life compound ingredients. Titano parts. 
good. It's gonna be tough to get out everything. Some of these might require me to go to the sanctum areas. So what can, I can? Oh, she sells all the bl swords here, and I can finally use slash again. But why do I have a half moon bow? Even though we don't have a bow type user yet. Oh man, so expensive though. Spiritual water, huh? Okay. Alright, the guide actually says it's best to visit every village before doing any of this, before completing any sanctum, just so you can get all the quests available. This hidden village is being sustained by a strong sealer and the power of the moon. The two moons represent balance and are the objects of our reverence. You're a friend, are you not? You intend to know no harm? Make no mistake, we do not have any suspicions about you, nor do we dislike you, but you are an outsider. We can't help but feel a little hesitant about trusting you. I hope you understand. Is there anyone in the center here? Yes. This hidden village is always quiet. The village, where, the view, nothing ever changes. Personally, I'm happy to entertain visitors like you for a change. The pillar in the, in the middle of the village has apparently been there since the very beginning. It provides comfort for the people of Iska who lost their true altar. You can pray to it if you'd like. We the people of Iska have watched over a balance of Otago, hidden from the rest of the world. But then there was an earthquake. This is sad news. An earthquake has proved that Otago is falling into chaos. Ah yes, let me say one thing if you would. You have already acquired the powers of the dragons and know the skills you must use to suppress the enemy. But in order to use these skills, you must first build up the powers of the dragons to the absolute limit. The powers of the dragons will increase more rapidly if you use your skills with the weapons containing them equipped. And I assume the higher the level of the skill you use, the more power it harnesses from its dragon. Remember that and use it to your advantage. Extra skill gauge builds up each time you use regular skills. Also, keep in mind that the more SP the skill uses, the faster the extra gauge will fill. So there is a point to this go going big. But why did you not tell me that earlier? We were the tribe of Iska given us duty to safeguard the harmony and balance of Otago. Even after our seclusion from the world, we have remained vigilant in watching over Otago's tenuous balance. But it seems the chaos is only growing. It truly is a sad state of affairs. Of course, the best way to increase your extra gauge is to Find an easy enemy multi-hit attack to guard against. That will fill it up in no time. What the heck is back here? Hold on, nothing. A long time ago, the ability of Isco was destroyed to make way for Otago City's development. In the wake of that, all knowledge of where the moon altar is located was lost. They must have felt faith in the dragons only gets in the way of the riches, and now we pay the price for their ignorance. No one remembers where the moon altar is located. The one you saw near the city was likely a makeshift replica. With the appearance of the dragon warrior, the five dragons shall awaken, and then what will happen to Altago? My name is Matthew Torres, Dragon Researcher. I have so many questions yet unanswered, but lack for material. I know, I'd like to ask you a favor if I may. I'd like you to bring me materials you find in the Sanctum Sword of Dragon Swall. If you show me such materials, I'll share with you all that I know about the Five Great Dragons of Otago. It is knowledge unknown to the outside world, but such knowledge exists to be used and shared. Lecture Dragons of Otago was added to your journal. Alright, time to talk to more people. Don't talk to me, please! 
She seems guarded and suspicious. Little girl is staring at you, blushing. She seems guarded and suspicious. The people of Isco were practically annihilated during the Edonians' persecution two centuries ago. This hidden village was found by few, the few who survived. But unfortunately, a great deal of Isco's knowledge was lost during the with the lives of his people. It's truly sad to see a culture wiped out like that. Seems my granddaughter is rather nervous around you. Maybe it's because you're the dragon warrior and his companions. She's very outgoing once you get to know her, but she can be pretty shy at first. I think she'll warm up to you, though. Okay, should also be able to get a key item just by trying to exit the city. This is the hidden village of Iska. The sentence of the lost Iskan tribe live here. Some are afraid of outsiders, so please don't do anything untoward. It's the first time I've see ever seen so many visitors at once. Some are afraid of outsiders, so please don't do anything untoward. Hmm. There are safe point marked off. Hold on, is there anyone surrounding this teleport circle? Fortunately, it seems the Fire Dragon's power will let me teleport beyond that dimensional door thing. We're back! I still can't wrap my head around the fact that there's a village here, though. Unfortunately, no one remembers the spell to undo the barrier around this village. Uh, I almost forgot. I have something for you, Adol. Moonsong Bell. It's from Xiarius. You can use it to access any location that's hidden or sealed off through Iskin magic. Excellent! You rang this bell to get us all the way here yourself, right? Basically, yeah. According to Xiarius, there are other locations all throughout Otago that have been similarly hidden. If you come across any places marked with the Iskin seal, it wouldn't hurt to try giving the bell a ring. So they're like shortcuts. Sounds cool. Let's try it, Adol. But Adol can teleport us all with the dragon energy he receives. We don't really need this to get anywhere, do we? There's a flow of strange energy. It seems all warp locations are no longer accessible due to this disturbance. What? The earthquake must have created a disturbance in the flow of energy to throughout Otago. Masking all of the warp locations. So it's not that the ability cannot be used, but that the power on which it draws has faltered. It's no more than a minor inconvenience, but all these anomalies and earthquakes do not bode well for this land. We must make haste. Right. I guess we should head to one of the villages for now. Owl, Chris, and two others are currently on the run. Search parties have been sent to all the villages, but the fugitives remain at large. It is believed they are hiding somewhere in the, the Otago Plains. Adol, I'm so glad you're safe. So you got away? General, your men have allowed an intruder into the palace, and now this. Are you not being a bit careless? I make no excuses for this. I shall dispatch two companies for a thorough investigation. Don't bother, there's no point sending your men to just walk around the plains. Set up checkpoints on all the roads and wait for him to fall into the trap himself. You just need to show the people that we're actually doing something to find our escapee. Anything more is wasted effort. You leave the matter in your hands, General. Your Royal Highness, please accept my apologies for causing you such worry with my carelessness. Perhaps Her Highness should rest and allow her humble servant to handle all further security matters. Right, thanks, Jason. I'll do just that. Good, and I shall return to my duties.
Princess, I agree with the general. You should rest. You barely slept last night. But I... Donald did not run away because he was afraid. He must have left to do something relating to the dragons. Sigrun, I have a favor to ask of you. We're back on the plains, huh? Too bad we can't just jump down there. Make a ladder or something. Oh hey, I did see this item here. But I, it's no point, I can't carry any. Oh well. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed seeing Adol solo a Titano with crappy equipment, please leave a like and subscribe.